Welcome, Agile friends. My name is Vasco Duarte, and I'm here with two fellow Portuguese like myself. And we're going to dive into the uses of ChatGPT for product owners. So we have Bruno and Frederico, also known as Fred, who both live in the beautiful country of Portugal. We've also invited ChatGPT. Uh, I'm not going to say welcome to ChatGPT, but we have to, of course, mention that we will have ChatGPT with us. For now, welcome Bruno and Fred. Hi, Volta. Thank you, Hi, Fred. Magico. Thank you so much for having us. We also have a lot more sessions to support you in the role of the product owner. Those are available at the productownersummit.org. So go ahead and check those out and get the VIP ticket. Why not? But for now, we focus on our guest speakers, who are Bruno, Fred, and of course, ChatGPT. So let's start with Bruno. Bruno, so when you started using ChatGPT for your work, what got you started? What were the main reasons you wanted to explore ChatGPT for product owner use? Actually, I started I started using ChatGPT mainly because I was listening to a lot of talk about it and about it possibly one day changing our jobs or uh, making them not available anymore. Um, and I was extremely cu curious. As I work with a lot of markets, I started using ChatGPT mainly to do uh, market research and create personas based on each one of the markets that I use. Um, and I was amazed <laughs> and sold immediately because it was really easy to create a new persona uh, for the products that you, we wanted to, to create and to do a quick market research after the the whole big market research that so happened. we're gonna go uh, and see a demo in a bit okay but before we go into the demo uh what do you mean by using chat gpt to create personas uh, give me a concrete example I, uh, for example uh, i i had the market in norway and as a portuguese person that has never been to norway uh, has been once to norway i know little about norway and about norwegians so i asked Chat GPT, please create me a persona for my specific product and explain me what are their hobbies, what's their main interests, how much do they earn per year, uh, what cars do they drive? And Chat GPT promptly responded with everything I needed. And I used that to create a new persona, a new uh, person using the product that I use, that I create, uh, to try and check if everything went right. And if using that persona, I could use that product and sell that product. So it helped you kind of explore what might be specific and strong characteristics of a potential user, right? And you were talking about um, Norway, but did you have any other specific characteristics like, you know, demographics like age or location I have, or? I had age and gender as well as studies. So uh, we created at the time, uh, I believe it was a 55 year old engineer living in Oslo, um, a male, and that had uh, medium to big income for uh, Norway. Um, and it explained, explained to me everything that the... Was there something surprising when you read the answer for about the persona? Um, a lot of things, really. <laughs> From their hobbies, like the hiking part and the nature part, that's not so big here in Portugal. We are more like going to the beach or going to, to a balcony and drink a couple of beers. And the reality was completely different for a persona in Norway. Um, I also did the same for Philippines and it was also very different, especially in the income part, but that's natural comparing Philippines to, to Norway. Uh, but also the part of the hobbies. Uh, in Philippines, the, the hobbies were not so connected to nature. 
and Norway was extremely connected to, to nature and hikes. And that helped us uh, create a new product for that market. So let's stay with the surprise.